What's up guys, welcome back to another video and uh, in this video let's continue from where we left off in our previous video. In our previous video we talked about uh, retrieving uh, markers from a Firestore collection, right? This was the collection and uh, we had like four markers which had a uh, geo point as one of its fields and the other field was a place name. So all these uh, four markers we read from the Firestore collection and then we try to um, place them on the map inside your Flutter application. So what we'll be doing in this particular video is how to add a marker from your mobile application so that the marker gets automatically saved in Firestore as well as gets added onto your map. Once it's saved in Firestore, you'll automatically see the marker on your map because we are making use of streams, right? Whenever a new data comes in, it'll automatically take the data and uh, place it inside the map. Oh, where is it? I'm showing you a different thing and talking about a different thing. See, we are making use of streams, right? Uh, anyway, we already have a button, I guess. Yeah, we already have a button here for uh, showing a dialog. Let's add our, uh, let's add a text field in the dialog. Okay. Right now we are simply hard coding, I think. Yeah, we are simply hard coding the location name. We'll add a text field so that the user can uh, enter a location uh, name of his choice, a location of his choice. So first I will give string input address. We'll give it a blank. And then uh, here instead of hard coding, I'll simply give input address and uh, here inside this I just have one dialog option which is a button right now what I need to do is uh, add a text field there as well so new text field field and uh, inside this I will simply have a unchanged hello unchanged uh, this will be a function it will have taken a string uh, entered location and inside this uh, uh, set state uh, what was that input address right input address equals entered look cool uh, this is done this will now take uh, input from the user and once he presses the all add it button it will automatically add, try to add it to the list right add to list no it's automatically trying to place a marker we don't need this sort of behavior uh, we just need to add it to the fire store list right so I'll remove this entire thing and instead what I'll do is uh, Firestore dot instance dot uh, collection markers dot add and we need to add a object cool and inside this what you need to do uh, the first thing is quads first field name is quads quads will be a geo point new geo point uh, first dot coordinates dot latitude comma first dot coordinates dot longitude cool and we just need one more thing that is the place uh, place will be first dot feature name cool uh, once this is done you can even do then function and then write something else since this will be an asynchronous operation but for now we'll just leave it here since once we add the marker it will automatically uh, the stream will pick it up and then add it to our uh, list all markers list and all markers list is the one we are using in our uh, We are using in our map so it will automatically pick up the marker and then put it on the map. Let's see if this works as we expected I'll run this we now get the three markers placed on our Map as expected right four markers. I guess one will be at the bottom. Yeah, here it is. Maybe we should just simply try to change the color guys because uh, it's in contrast to water i'll just give it as red ah 
now the markers look uh, prominent in the map right now let's try adding one more marker let's try adding a marker on hoboken okay hoboken uh, oh i'll click the add button here you are automatically getting a dialog with a text field i didn't add any padding here guys so obviously anyway padding is not important we'll just try to give uh, what was it hoboken i don't know how it's pronounced probably hoboken and then i'll just tap on add it wow a marker got added right here right instantaneously so obviously the marker would have been added here as well wow you get a geo point here and the place name is hoboken if we try tapping on that place we should uh, it should print it on the console right where is it no it should uh, yeah, it should print it on the console let's try tapping on that it's printing hoboken now let's uh, add one more just for uh, We'll add one here, Manhattan, right? Manhattan. Ah, Central Park, I know, I used to watch friends. Anyway, uh, we'll do Manhattan. Oh, I need to add that. Manhattan. Okay, it's <laughs> adding it in Central Park. Anyway, uh, let's try clicking on this. Wow. So these two markers are two separate independent instances of markers. This is the Hoboken marker. This is the uh, Manhattan marker. And it's saved in the same way in uh, Firestore as well. Right. So uh, now you see how you can add a marker to your map instantaneously using a, uh, a button. Now, uh, if I, I believe you, if you had seen all my previous videos, you would understand this, guys, right from maps and markers, geolocation with markers, geocoding with markers and uh, reading uh, uh, data from Firestore and adding it as markers and adding uh, data from your application into Firestore as markers. All these videos I have done so far, right on maps. If you had uh, seen all of those, you would have understood uh, the distance we have traveled so far. By, by traveled, I mean uh, the coding journey, not the journey on the map that we have been panning here and there anyway uh, yeah th this is how you add markers to your application guys you can add a large amount of markers and uh, uh, all these markers are separate instances as well so if you add few other data along with this uh, uh, marker each and every data will be unique to each and every marker so there is a lot of cool things that you can uh, do along with these right now, uh, yeah, that's it guys. If you want something else to be added along with this or if you want uh, me to do some other video on maps. My first intention was to do just a basic video on maps and then a lot of people started asking about uh, geolocation and markers and all that. That's why this entire series started off. Uh, it started off as a sub-series within the Flutter video series, I guess. Anyway, that's it guys. I am thinking of moving on to charts because I just did only one video with a chart right that uh, stopwatch and timer video uh, no it was a stopwatch video stopwatch with radial charts video uh, yeah that's the only one i did so a lot of people were asking me how to pull data from firestore and uh, display it as a chart uh, so i guess we'll move on to that part i mean i'm going to try to make videos on that part uh, so if you need anything more on maps or if you want me to do any other feature with uh, this particular maps, I'll try to make a video on that as well. Uh, so, so far so good. Um, hit like if you really like this video. Hit uh, subscribe if you want to see more cool stuff like this. If you found this video helpful, kindly share it out with someone. Kindly tweet it out or something and then uh, help them too. Um, hit the thumbs up guys. It really helps me a lot. Uh, since YouTube doesn't recommend videos that don't have a lot of... Uh, even if my videos get a lot of likes and dislikes, YouTube somehow recommends my videos only inside India. I don't know why. Anyway, uh, that's it guys. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.